hearty, warm, and filling, beans and lentils are the unsung heroes of a healthy diet. Found in dozens of varieties, legumes have been grown for thousands of years and are used in many cultural dishes around the world. Packed with protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, these healthy foods can be purchased for just pennies a serving. Black beans, navy beans, black-eyed peas, and lentils are excellent folate-rich choices to enjoy for the first few months before pregnancy and during your first trimester. But all types of beans and lentils are good throughout pregnancy and beyond. Whether they are canned or cooked from scratch, Beans can also help expecting mothers fight type 2 diabetes and gestational diabetes. The special fibers found in beans help to slow digestion time and keep blood sugars steady after meals. Many studies have linked eating beans, lentils, and peas to lower fasting and average blood sugars. Enjoying just half a cup a day of these foods as a tasty side dish or eaten as an ingredient in soups, dips, salads, chilies, casserole, burgers, and other dishes can go a long way for immediate and long-term health. Both canned and dried beans are equally nutritious and can last for years if stored well in a cool, dry place. Two cans for each adult spread throughout the week is all that's needed to meet daily bean goals. Canned beans will save you time and usually cost less than a dollar a can, while dry beans that have been cooked from scratch will usually have better flavor and texture than canned beans and cost you even less. Cooking beans from a dry state also allows you to control how much salt you use. Soaking dried beans overnight for at least eight hours before cooking is one of the best methods for preparing beans more quickly and thoroughly. If you forget to soak dry beans overnight, there are a few options for preparing them in a single day. Simply do a quick soak by placing dried beans in a pot of water, bring to a boil, and then allow to cook for five minutes and remove from heat. Allow these partly cooked beans to then soak for an hour. Drain the soaking liquid and add broth and other seasoned liquids to the pre-soaked beans. Simmer beans for one to two hours until they can be easily mashed with a fork but aren't too mushy. If you have a slow cooker or pressure cooker, you can use these options as a hands-free way to cook dried beans without any pre-soaking. If using a slow cooker, add dry beans to the cooking liquid in the morning and cook for eight to 10 hours on medium-high heat for an easy dinner. Dried beans can also be cooked in a pressure cooker in 40 minutes or less without any need for pre-soaking. No matter how you choose to cook them, beans are a great first food for your child. A tablespoon of plain beans can be introduced around six months of age at mealtimes and only need to be slightly mashed with a fork to help prevent choking. On days when you don't have time to prepare dried beans, lentils and split peas are great options. Rich in iron and zinc, lentils and split peas can also fill important nutrient gaps for older infants and toddlers. They require no pre-soaking time, are ready in under 20 minutes, and have all the nutritional and cost-saving benefits of beans. Beans and lentils are a nutrient-packed and money-saving staple. With these time-saving tips, you can provide a well-rounded, nourishing meal for you and your family. 